Okay, so here I'm simulating the feeder timing off on a 3302 rail press. I got hooked up to an envelope feeder here. What's going to happen, you're going to see the sheets come down and they're not going to sit at the head stops like they're supposed to. They're going to just go right into the press. It's supposed to come down and hit the head stops. This push guy comes over, pushes it, and then it goes in. Okay, so here we go. Sheets never stop. You just keep going in the press. That's a problem. Let me show you how to fix that. Right now. So chances are the chain on the back side has probably jumped a couple of teeth or the chain came off and you didn't put it back on properly. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this press around to zero. It's right there on the timing wheel. It should also be where the upper and lower feed roller just begin to touch. It should also be where this hole in the side frame, you should be able to put a five millimeter wrench, Allen wrench, all the way through it. I know that I won't be able to because it should be at about the two o'clock position. And you can see where there's, if you look right through there, you can see that there's no hole in the side frame. So, we're gonna come over to the non-operator side. We're going to loosen the tension sprocket. There's also right now, these two dimples should be lined up with this vacuum cutoff arm. So what I'm going to do is loosen both of these Allens. This is the tension for the chain. I'm going to put a 19 millimeter on the back nut, not on this front nut, just so I can hold it. Now I'm going to bring this around until that lines up. Now one tooth is too far that way, the other tooth is too far that way. This is the tooth that I want here. I want to have it up closer to the slope of the cam. Now, I'm going to just lock this back down. Make sure I have tension on that chain. Now we're going to come back around and test that again. Jam up, of course. Okay, he comes down and sits for a minute. Push guy comes over. Exactly what it should be. So the chain was off by three. And that's how you check the timing and fix it. And a 3302, 3304, Ryobi. Do the same thing on that beast over there. <laughs>